All right, this is John Hansen for FloridaPhysique.com. We are in the gym training today with two men's physique competitors, Johnny Navarro and Adrian Richards, who are both getting ready for the MPC Nationals in only two more weeks. How are you guys doing? Hey, we're good. Good. We have had a lot of fun hanging out so far. Yeah. We're happy because we had some carbs today. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys did a good workout today, man. It was pretty heavy, and uh, it wasn't a light workout at all. <laughs> I know. I mean, we're trying to push it at least the, f the last few weeks or the last week few days that we can do any heavy workout because we're we're about to start diving into lightweight, higher reps, you know, to save some muscle at the end. Right. Yeah, we did a, a short workout um, right after your show, Johnny, and you were going real light because you were just burning the glycogen the day after. But this was more of a, I think probably more of a typical workout you guys normally do, right? Yeah, a little bit more to impress you guys. So. <laughs> yeah, we, honestly, we don't we don't really even lift. We just do cardio. So. <laughs> no, you're doing some heavy stuff. Four plates on the hammer rows and heavy dumbbell rows. Trying to trying to make it happen. Trying to trying to look big. Trying to look big. Yeah. <laughs> So the first exercise you did was the uh, lap pull downs, which I'm sure is typically a normal, you know, routine. You're doing that as a warm up, and then also to get your lat width, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like the the biggest thing for m for me this year was to just spread my back out as much as possible, and, okay. um, and I did that. And then you know that's why we always try to start with that, and then try to do like more of some of the heavier rolls, try to get some thickness, because it ended up being flat as a board like in the beginning of the year. But now I'm definitely filling out. Okay. So. so you made some improvements all throughout the year. Huh? Yeah, definitely made some improvements. My first show actually beat was out here in Tampa and stuff and then you know five shows later going six going on six shows now so definitely a, a nice little transformation throughout this year so I'm, I'm pleased and I couldn't be more happy because I've already like knocked a lot of my goals out and you know so now I'm going on goals that were for next year this year so right, it's right. good and uh, Johnny you guys did a exercise second that you did before Close grip lap pull downs, but you did them kneeling on the floor, which is sort of different. <laughs> I know, I knew you were probably going to bring that up. I love that exercise. You know, when you do that close grip pull down and you go down to the floor, you get a lot more tension on your lat, therefore, you break up more fibers, you know, to grow the muscle. Because I believe on stretching and, you know, stretching the muscle fibers as much as possible because we grow muscle by tearing the muscle down. You know, so by getting that longer stretch, you can pump more blood into the muscle and get a bigger stretch and, you know, grow a bigger back. a lot harder than I thought. Of. I was like, why are we doing this? And I was like, wait, this is, this is work. <laughs> it works. It works. Definitely works. Now, in a typical workout like this, how many sets and reps are you guys doing? Um, if I'm going really heavy on a back day, I'll usually do about three sets, maybe like five to six exercises or so. But it depends on the intensity of the workout. But I, I think three sets is usually enough. 8 to 12 range reps if you're going really heavy. Are you training every day now, five, six days a week? Pretty much, yeah. There's no days off at this point. We'll rest when it's over, yeah. which is soon. It's never, it's never over. <laughs> but when Nationals <laughs> is over, I guess, for like a few days or so. And how about the cardio? How many days a week of that? Uh, <laughs> well, now that it's crunch time, I'm doing about six days, I'm um, doing faster cardio in the mornings, and uh, we decided, you know, to try something different. I honestly normally never really do cardio, but uh, we decided let's add some cardio in the evening as well, just 20 minutes, and see if that maybe possibly brings me in tighter, because my lats come down really far into my back, and I just don't have that clean of a look, like I just, so I'm just trying to make it as tight as I possibly can. Okay. So we're going to try something different this time. Uh, I think that's important to make sure that you bring a different package, a better package, right. each show that you do. So I'm finally getting to see, like, all right, that's just how my body is. Right. What can I do to make it better? And then the third exercise you guys did was uh, pullovers with a barbell. Uh, yeah, on the decline bench. And I'm, that looked like a great stretch in a lap. Oh, yeah. I mean, I learned that from, from a friend back home. She was a, fe a female pro bodybuilder. Oh, yeah. yeah um, and, you know, I, was, I saw her doing that, and I'm like, that looks pretty good. I mean, it seems like you can get a long stretch on your lats, being that you're upside down. So there's really you're fighting gravity the whole time. So you're not really letting it stretch by your will, own will, but you're rather just letting it go down and keeping the tension as you go down. So it could be very tennis when you're going down and you have all that blood coming to your your head you know but as long as you keep a good form and get a good stretch keep your keep your elbows straight and just focus on the target which is the lower lat it works pretty good you probably don't have to go heavy on that either huh yeah, not at all because you'll pass out or cross your skull with the with the bar <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty pretty intense exercise, but he didn't know about it, I yeah, think, but I, he, I think he'll be... I didn't know about that one. Yeah, on. definitely, because I mean, I definitely do a lot of pullovers and different things like that, but then, like, I was doing that, and at first, I was kind of, it felt, like, really awkward, but then once I just kind of, like, relaxed into it, yeah. then it was like, 
yes, you know, and then everything, I could, felt, I could feel everything just lighting up, so. Well, it was definitely working, because I got the camera shot of both you guys, and your lats were really firing up, yeah. yeah they're feathering of the lats, yeah. yeah. so cool. I just want to see that when we're dry, like, two yeah. days out, you'll be like, whoa, nasty. Yes. <laughs> and then the next exercise, you guys went heavy, you did some heavy one-arm dumbbell rows, huh? Yeah, that's one of the most effective, but one of my least favorite one because it actually makes you work. Yeah. So, yeah, you, that's a great exercise. Just yeah. got to keep like the form com, straight. Like, like a compound because it's like my whole body aches yeah. after doing, after hitting those heavy. Or just you just light up after one set. You're just sweating. You're shaking and stuff. And yeah, it definitely it definitely works. It's. Well, you guys would normally do that in a, in a typical workout, right? Do those heavy basic exercises? Yeah, at least at least once a week I'm gonna go and do make sure that I hit the hit hit the rows. I try to split it up and, and make it where like I like, train back twice. Okay. So one day is more focused on width, whereas one in another day is more focused okay. on the thickness. Okay. So on my day where I'm trying to do like, more thick stuff, that's when the first exercise I'm coming into <laughs> it. And you finished off with the hammer strength rows or the hammer rows, I should say, hammer strength rows, and one arm at a time. And you guys went up to four plates on that. Too, huh? Yeah, we got a little ambitious, but you can you kind of pushed each other and made it through. So hey, we drove an hour and a half to come here, so we might as well kill it. <laughs> Nothing left behind, yeah. but the drive home. But the drive, but the drive home. So Do you like doing those one arm at a time or two arms at a time? I feel like one arm at a time is a little bit better because you concentrate more on what you're doing rather than just doing both arms and losing your form at times because you're forcing yourself. You know, with the one arm, you focus more on the area that you're targeting. So I think it's a little bit more effective, in my opinion. Not to say that that that, that is the way it is. So, yeah, I, I agree. I think I think especially if you're going heavier, you're kind of just trying to lock in your lock in and really get that nice stretch. Take it, take your time with it, and really try to make some work happen. You know, definitely want to. I, I, I could. It was cool. I got to stand behind him and really see his body just kind of shake, stretch out, and squeeze in. So, you know. That's, I, that's how you, I think that's what the thing about it. You start to really love it. You love watching it and seeing it. Like, like this is pretty awesome. So, Now, um, what's your mindset going to the Nationals? Is this the, national, the first time for the Nationals for both of you guys? Very first one. Like, this is my first year competing uh, completely. And uh, I wasn't, I was, the goal was to get here for next year, but I'm already here. And, um, and I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be very honest. My, I kind of want to go in there and kill it. Like, yeah. I, mean, I can't lie. That's not. I'm going in there to kill. Like, <laughs> how about you, Johnny? Now you've been in the national level shows three times, or this will be the third one. So this isn't your uh, first first picnic. No, I know. I know. It's been. I did earlier this year. I did Junior USA's, then Team U, and now this show, which was. I did this show last year as well, like he did. Yeah. Last year was my first year, and I didn't even have that mindset. I didn't even see myself making it to a national level. But like you said, I got there, and there was no other choice but to do it because once you start seeing the improvements you can make in your body and what you can actually achieve, then you really take away the limits. So it's all about working hard and going in there with a good attitude. But at the end of the day, your mind is where it's at, which is the prize. So that's what we're all doing. This this isn't fun. It's a lifestyle, but necessarily not fun all the time when you got to do things against your own will and your mind is fighting you 24/7 to not to not do things that you know that are necessary to do in order to get where you want to be. So there's no choice. You're, you're going in to win too. I'm going there to win as well. I mean, that's what we're all going in there, uh, unless we are a lot of sleep. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us in the gym training for FloridaPhysique.com at the Powerhouse Gym in downtown Tampa. And we wish you guys the best of luck, Johnny Navarro and Adrian Richards, at the NPC Nationals coming up in a couple weeks. Thank you. Thank you, guys.